Welcome to the cauldron, the crucible that is the Peak Performance Project. You're thrust into competition. It's basically like the Thunderdome with less killing and more hugs. And uh, I want to know what the best thing is that you took out of boot camp. All the networks. Just meeting all the people. Yeah. Best thing? Just being around all the other musicians. Just being in that world with such high caliber, talented, talented people. Oh, the business side of things, you know, I've thrived in the business uh, part of the music industry and uh, to learn from so many amazing, you know, people that have been there and done that kind of thing, that was, that was I mean, just great. Like they bring everything really important to you so that you don't have to hunt for it in a thousand different places. It's right there, concentrated. Having the, the opportunity to team up with Rolla and write some songs and become really good friends with him and record with Fall him. in love. Yeah, we've all fallen in love. For me, it was meeting all the other bands, all the other musicians. They were really supportive of what we're doing. I think just knowing that there's people in this industry who support other musicians and that just believe in, in us and our art. In all honesty, it just it made us more confident as a band. The whole camp was just beyond expectation. I don't know if we could reduce it down to one single thing. All right, Tamara Sanders is uh, tonight wearing a scarf that she got from the band Will Horse. Like, I love it. I do. I love it. But what I love best is about the fact that when Brandon gave it to me at boot camp, I thanked him afterwards and he said, yeah, I think I found it under the bus or in the dumpster. But I washed it one time. Now, what's the best thing you ever found in a garbage? The best thing I found in a dumpster. Um, I just got a piece of pizza back from the garbage like five <laughs> minutes ago. Did it touch the other things around? No, it stayed in the box. That's why I ate it. This is, this is the, the redneck. I grew up on a farm. Probably an empty uh, suitcase so I can put some gear in it. Is that like, does it, that seems like a good idea, like a sofa, but then you get it into your house and it smells like pee? I furnished my entire house with shit that I found in back alleys and in people's garbage. Two mirrors that are like this tall, like just, a, just tall enough for me. I'm British. I don't do that sort of thing. Now, you guys need to nominate somebody in this group here who is good at spelling. I need for you guys, as fast as you can, to spell backwards Fortune Sound Club. Go! Ah. Oh. <laughs> no. B-L-C-D-N-U-O-S-E-N-T-U-R-O-F. <laughs> Am I close? No. <laughs> I spelt, I said felt a fortune club, I forgot to spell sound. There's a zombie apocalypse on Earth. It's happening all of a sudden. It's horrible. You can only rescue one other band from the Peak Performance Project. Oh, no. Who's it gonna be? Wait, Jeremy? Rolla? Yeah, I saw that coming. I'd have to say my, my boy, Rolla. Oh, I was gonna say Hannah because she broke her leg and I think that it would be nice oh, to yeah. really like, you know, sisterhood and all that and make sure she gets out of harm's way. And... Will Horse, yeah. there's no... <laughs> Will Horse. Yeah. You, you don't think they can take care of themselves? No, oh, no, no, they're us. <laughs> the lion, the bear, the fox. I'm gonna go the lion, the bear, the fox. They're big dudes. Well, two of the three are big dudes, and one's a, he'd be, he's smart enough to figure it out. I'd have to save Dougal, because he's the fiddle player, and he's an awesome fiddle player. I think I'd take Bodie Jones. He, uh, he didn't leave me alone the last night. Um, we were the last men standing, so I know no matter what, he'd be there beside me. I would take no bands. I would take all the ladies. Yeah! Woo! We are hiding behind them. <laughs> you guys have your strategy all worked out already. 